Meet the A1. This robotic dog could be yours for around $10,000. Now it's true, most of us don't really have an extra 10 G's lying around for a robotic dog, but given the market for them, that's a surprisingly low price. The A1 is the newest quadruped from robotics company Unitree. You may remember Unitree's last four-legged robot, the Lycago. That debuted last year with a price tag of $45,000. Now, Unitree hopes to reach a broader market with Lycago's significantly cheaper younger sibling. The A1 is really impressive to watch. Weighing in at just 26 pounds, it has a top speed of 3.3 meters per second, and it can carry about 11 pounds. It looks pretty nimble. Let's see that again. Like any good dog, A1 can follow its owner around. It uses two depth sensing cameras to perceive its environment. And watching it on video, that seems to work pretty well. A1 can adapt to a variety of terrains like stairs, gravel, roads and hills, things like that. We first got a preview of the A1 back in February. In that video, we saw it do a backflip. But Unitree told me it can do more everyday dog tricks, you know, like roll over and jump. The battery can run for up to two and a half hours per charge. Now compare that with the latest version of Lycago, which gets up to three hours, can carry about 20 pounds, and weighs in at just under 50 pounds. That greater weight is probably why its top speed is a little lower than A1, at 1.4 meters per second. That's true, this isn't the first time we've seen a robotic quadruped. In fact, most of you are probably thinking, these really remind me of a certain mechanized mutt named Spot. We first met Spot as we know it now, back in 2017. Created by heavy hitter Boston Dynamics, gained notoriety for its ability to open doors and shake it on the dance floor. Spot even inspired the Black Mirror episode Metalhead. And of course, there's MIT's Mini Cheetah, which may not have Spot's sick dance moves, but it can do this. Now maybe one of the most significant differences with Unitree's robots is that you can order one right now. Boston Dynamics does have an online form to lease a spot for what it calls an early adopter program, but right now spot isn't really intended for consumers. It's more meant for companies, government agencies, looking for things like surveillance and recon. In fact, most recently, Spot's been helping out at a Boston hospital as a triage for COVID patients. Now the A1, which you can actually buy right now, is targeted more to the consumer. Unitree told me once a customer places their order and pays, they'll have their robot in about two to three months. And aside from just looking like a lot of fun, I could actually see myself using one of these if I had that kind of cash on say like a long hike or a rock climbing trip, something like that. But let's face it, at $10,000, we're not gonna be seeing these under a lot of Christmas trees next holiday season. Still, Unitree has shown that the price of robotics can come down significantly for everyday consumers. So if you had one, how do you think you'd use an A1? Let us know in the comments below.